Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial on MATLAB and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to use codes and solve MATLAB problems uh, problems related to spring element and finite element methods and it's a bit of just a little bit of coding uh, to solve uh, problems so as you can see I have an example from a book for called MATLAB guide to finite elements so you can check this book it's a very good book for your reference in MATLAB so in this example I have a spring system which is consisting of which consists of a, a two element spring so this first element k1 and k2 second element so an uh, uh, external load is applied at right rightmost of the system so as you can see this system consists of three nodes one two and three uh, and uh, at node one it is completely fixed so expecting a zero displacement over here and uh, yeah uh, at node three we have one load p so let's let's uh, get into this problem and we'll discuss how to solve this using matlab so first what we are going to do is we are going to define our given loads so p equals oops p equals 15 next we have two spring elements so i'm going to define element one as 100 cross 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 so i'll just quickly try to run this as in, so you can see what's the what's the k element one so I'll quickly rename this to example 2.1 save it anywhere let it be desktop save so this is my element 1 as you can see so next I'm going to give my second element which is 200 cross 1 minus 1 minus 1 one so this is my second element now here I'm going to assign my both the elements as hundred comma two hundred just for reference I'm going to define that next uh, you need to give the element connectivity for example this first element is connected with node 1 and 2 and second element is connected to 2 and 3 so just type in element connectivity for first element it is 1 and 2 for second element it is 2 and 3 right so this is my element connectivity next I'm going to state the nodes so nodes are element plus one nodes are element plus one okay okay before before this I need to give element so element equals to size with respect to element connectivity so we have two elements okay just introduce a one so it's gonna state exact number of elements next nodes equals element plus one so we have three nodes and then we are going to define a 
global stiffness matrix which is capital K which has a size of zeros with respect to nodes so this is the size of my global stiffness matrix 3 by 3 next I'm going to state my 4 force so we have the force as for node 1 we have 0 for node 2 we have 0 for node 3 we have 15 so after defining the force I need to assemble assembly we will go for assembly so for assembly I'm going to use all the elements which is K element and then substitute it in the right right spot of global stiffness matrix so for this I'm going to use a for loop for I equals 1 to element K E equals K I cross one minus one minus one one. Then we'll go for node one, which is element connectivity I comma one, and similarly node two is going to be element connectivity i comma 2 so next k node 1 okay sorry node 1 comma node 1 is equals to k node 1 comma node 1 plus k e 1 comma 1 so what this is what this uh, what this line is going to do is it's going to take the k element of row 1 column 1 and going to substitute in the global uh, matrix which is 0 0 0 so it's going to take the k element 1 1 and substitute in so we're going to do it four times so for that just copy this and paste and paste paste just a little bit of adjustment so this time node 1 and node 2 because same substituting the k element in the same spot doesn't make any sense and you will get the answer wrong so I'm just making sure that the elements are going to fit in the right spot like this okay sorry and the last one will be two 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 this one is also two and this is two so after this just type in and and run this so this is what the global stiffness matrix for the spring system we have got so i'm quickly going to describe you how this coding thing works in this one so just uh, go through it so yeah for so for first element it's taking k element 1 1 means row 1 column 1 and substituting it so you are getting 100 
right next one two so minus hundred minus hundred and then minus hundred so this whole step is repeated for element one and element two see for first element we have hundred for second element we have two hundred so when repeating it and adding the whole thing we are going to get the global stiffness matrix next we need to find the displacement so we're just going to define the displacement as d equals zeros same as forces nodes comma one so my displacement will be three by one and uh, from the question we have at node one the element is fixed so displacement is going to be zero at this at this uh, node so for d1 is zero next we need to find the displacement at two and three so d two to three equals k two to three divided by f two to three okay okay so i did one mistake over here mm. when you are giving this global stiffness matrix what it means is you need to give rows as well as columns so this 2 to 3 is my rows row 2 to row 3 and this one is my columns row column 2 to column 3 so this is row 2 this is row 3 this is column 2 this one and this one is column 3 so it's going to take this this and this so I mean it's going to take this one this 2 by 2 matrix and it's going to find your displacement so we got the displacement at node 2 as 0 0.15 and node 3 as 0 0.225 so next the problem is asking for reaction at node 1 so reaction we can get by taking f equals k cross d so we are getting the reactions as minus 15 0 and 15 these are the reaction forces so we can define d element 1 equals d 2 to 3 okay sorry for element 1 it is 1 to 2 d element 2 equals d 2 to 3 so these are the displacement for element 1 and element 2 next we need to find the force at each spring so f element 1 equals k element 1 cross d element 1 and f element 2 equals k element 2 cross d element 2 so as you can see the force in it, each spring that is element 1 force is minus 15 and 15 minus 15 and 15 so the forces are equal and tensile in nature in both the elements element 1 and element 2 the force is 15 kilo newtons and the nature is tensile so this is pretty much how you can use MATLAB for solving finite element problems and if you have any doubts in this one feel free to comment down below and 
I'll see you in the next video very soon. Hope you guys like it. Thank you so much. Peace.